Good morning, my dear students. We are back with our physics lecture. So let's start. Let's start with our physics lecture. In the last video, we have discussed about the magnetism. What are the properties of the magnetism? We have learned how the magnet has been discovered. Then we have discussed there are mainly the two types of magnet: natural magnet and artificial magnet, which is also called as a human magnet. Human magnet, magnet. Then we have discussed about the properties of magnet. We have discussed about properties of magnet. Then how to make a magnet? Then we have also discussed that about uh, how to take care of the magnet. If we will not take the care of the magnet, it can lose its magnetism. Related to the magnet, we have also learned the one more concept of electromagnet. So, see, have you done ever one activity when have you rubbed the silk and glass with each other? Have you rubbed that? So if you have not, just try the game. Rub the silk and the glass material. Or just do one activity when you will rub your hand, it will get warm. Means it will get heated. Am I right? It means that it has developed some charge. So when we rub the when we rub the silk and the glass, they develop the charge. They develop the charge. So which are the charge? One is positive and another is negative charge. So what is positive and what is negative? So we are going to learn in this topic that is electricity. We are going to learn the topic electricity. So what is meant by the electricity? Electricity is nothing but it is a form of energy. It is the form of energy. It can be changed to the another. So for example when you switch on a button when you switch on the button immediately light or fan will get on. Yes or no? So how is it possible? How, can, how is it possible? How, how the fan will immediately get on? Have you, have you ever imagined? Or yes. See what is electricity? Electricity is nothing but it is a form of energy. It is nothing but Form of energy. Okay. So, which form of energy it is? Can you just tell me which form of energy it is a form of electric energy? Yes or no? It is nothing but electric energy. Which form of energy? Electric energy. Then, have you ever imagined how it is formed? How this electric energy is formed? Electric energy is formed by the electric current. How the electric energy is formed or how the electric energy is produced? Electric energy is produced by electric current. By electric current. Okay. So what is electric current now? No. See, first is electricity is a which form of energy? Yes. Electric energy, which form of energy? It is a form of energy, which form? Electric energy. So then, how the electric energy is produced? Electric energy is produced by the electric current. Now, what is the current? What is meant by the electric current? The flow of charge. What is meant by the electric current? The flow of
Why does it happen? Because it has developed the charge. Because it has developed the charge. And when the charge are developed, when we add or when we apply some force to them, and it will apply. Uh, if we will apply some force to move, that is called as a flow of charge. It is called as a flow of charge. So what is actually the electric current? So what is actually the electric current? See once again, I am repeating all this concept because this all the concepts are new for you. See electricity. Electricity is nothing but it is a form of energy. Which form of energy? Electrical energy. Which form of energy? Electrical energy. Then how the electric energy is produced? It is produced by the electric current. How how it is produced? When the electric current passes. Particular instrument produces the electric energy. Okay. Now, what is electric current? Electric current is nothing but a charge. It is nothing but a charge. So, what is exactly the charge? Charge are nothing but when you drop any two uh, materials, example the silk and the glass. When you drop, they develop some charge. And when we apply, when we apply some force to this charge. to move that is called as a flow of charge now when the charges are developed there are mainly the two charges which are developed that is positive and negative so positive in chemistry you might have learned about the negative charge that is called as electrons yes so this flow of charge is nothing but a flow of electrons in a cable or in a wire the flow of electrons and positive charge is nothing but protons you might have learned about electric uh, in atoms what is the structure of an atom in atom you might have learned the, there are the charges that is uh, positive charge that is called as a proton while negative charge is called as a electron and neutron are the charges which do not have any charge so charge are nothing but there are two types of charge positive and negative this negative negative charge is called as electron they are called as electron while positive charge is called as proton okay means flow of charge who who is moving flow of charge is actually the electrons are moving actually the electrons are moving that is flow of charge means electrons are moving through the cable are you ready so now what is exactly the electric electric current the amount of charge the amount of charge flows in a particular time in a particular time is called as a electric current so what is meant by the electric current charge amount of charge flows per unit time is called as electric current so what will be the symbol for the charge what will be the symbol for the charge charge the symbol for the charge or the charge is calculated is measured in the the unit of the charge is coulomb the amount of charge is nothing but coulomb per unit time time is measured in second so coulomb per second is nothing but now in the in the in force we have the the unit of force is nothing but newton mass into acceleration now mass 
some unit of electricity. Am I right? So now we are going to discuss which are the sources of electricity. Which are the sources of electricity? Now, where does electricity is? Means, uh, which kind of resources are used to produce electricity? See, the first is C, then batteries, generators are used to produce electricity. Am I right? Now, cells are used in very, uh, if the instrument is very small, then we use the cell. Am I right? Now, if you want a more amount of electricity, then we use battery. Now, in our household, we use the electric power from the electric power station. Am I right? Or the electricity is gone, then we, have, we are using the generator or inverter nowadays. Am I right? So, we are going to learn step by step. The first, we are going to discuss about the C. We are going to discuss about the C. Now, if you will see the C, C, if you might have seen a small C. If you will see the outer covering of the cell, see this is a cell. Am I right? Now if you will see this cell, in that cell you will see the two points. That one is positive and another is negative at the end. Am I right? So this is positive is nothing but a protons while this is negative is nothing but the electrons when the flow of current path, current starts. Are you ready? And always remember the flow of